Guys, this mass airflow sensor is a module. A mass airflow sensor is a little miniature computer. This is the first sensor. No, the map sensor is kind of like that too. Little miniature computer. Pressure sensors are like that. This one is this way too. It's not a simple sensor. It is a little miniature computer. That's why we need a 12 volt feed. We need a main ground on all of our maths. I've not seen a math operate off of a five volt only reference without having a 12 volt feed. Just like an engine computer, any computer on the car would need a 12 volt feed. A mass airflow sensor, mass airflow module, it's a little miniature computer. So it's maintaining this temperature, this temperature difference. So the current, so as airflow increases, the current required to maintain the hot wire temp also increases. As airflow increases, current flow increases. As airflow decreases, current flow decreases. What else changes would be the temperature of the air. A colder air temperature would cool it more, would require more current to maintain the temperature so we can account for air temperature as well with this thing. All right, so the, what do we do with this increasing current is it's converted to a signal and sent to the PCM as a measurement of mass airflow. On this GM, it's a square wave. It is a zero to five volt pull down design square wave that operates from say 2KHZ to 10KHZ. That's a kilohertz. That's 2000 cycles per second to 10,000 cycles per second that one of these devices inside of here is switching on and off. I believe it is this guy right here. That is a transistor, that is a flat transistor. It's that guy that's doing the switching between 2,000 and 10,000 times per second based off of what? Yeah, based off current flow. What you're not seeing in this picture is there would be a hot wire sitting here and then a cold wire sitting here, ambient air temp measurement. And, and this is the guy, say, to the left that we're changing current flow to. These resistors would sit in the airstream out here. Um, something in here is controlling the current flow through the hot wire. This guy's making the decision, and then he's looking at these current flow signals, and he's switching this transistor on and off 2,000 to 10,000 times per second. The signal wire coming into here is a five volt pull down circuit. So the computer is watching right here, this voltmeter. Computer is watching, it's a little eyeball. Computer is watching the math signal right there. It sends steady five into this guy, over to this transistor. What's the transistor gonna do? Switches to ground, it's a ground side switched pull down design signal circuit. Do you understand that when we troubleshoot this, that this doesn't help me? Does everyone understand that? Uh, that helps me maybe describe what's going on in here, but where is my diagnosis need to be focused with this mass airflow? I need to worry about these guys. Are they contaminated? Is it reading properly? I need to know that my 12 volt feed is good, that my ground is good, and how important was this information that I just gave you? We talked about this in chapter two. I told you guys I made a bad call on my first one of these with my boss's, not my boss, a co-worker's van. It, I told him he needed a mass airflow sensor. What he really needed was an engine computer because I, I, mis, uh, I misunderstood the circuit design. I didn't know it was a five volt pull down. I had a signal. I had a signal on the mass airflow that was zero volts all the time. I know this is a mess, sorry about that. I had a fixed zero volt signal right here all the time. Checked my feed, checked my ground, they were good. What did I say? Well, there's no signal coming out of this mass airflow sensor. It's gotta be bad. Oh, What's that? Engine yes, engine computer is out here. This is my, my mass airflow sensor is an input to my computer. This is a little module. This is a module too, powertrain control module. Mass airflow sensor is actually a module. 12 volt feed, ground, signal. And it's a, this is a five volt pull down, I said. Because I had zero volts here, I had zero volts here, I had 0 0.01 on my ground and I had 12 volts on my feed, I told him to put a mass airflow sensor in the car 
And when I was done, I had the same problem. What did I not understand about the circuit? I didn't understand that the computer source is five. So the test would be to unplug this. This is all stuff I have in this chapter coming up. The test for digital type maths that GMs use is to unplug it. It's a five volt pull down. What should we have in this location unplugged? It better be five volts. If it's not five, don't put a mass airflow sensor in this vehicle. Okay, so when we, as we go through the rest of this chapter, that's the stuff I'm spending time on. Unplug this, it better be five. And when I unplugged it, it was zero. And what this had was moisture intrusion in the computer and it messed the computer up. It was a faulty engine computer. As a technician, you have a mass airflow fault code. We need to know if we have a wiring problem, a sensor problem, or a computer problem. This is a prime example of not understanding your circuit design and maybe even sitting in a class where an instructor can walk you through the internal parts of this better than I can, but then never mentions this stuff out here. What's more important for the technician? How this works in here, how this little microchip works, or this signal circuit design, knowing it's a pull down design. Or, you know, there's cir circuits out there you, you may not know, but now that you have this thought in your mind that this could be a pull down circuit, chapter two becomes really, really critical, as I told you guys when we started this class. We're talking about mass airflow sensors, and I'm back in chapter two again. All right, so this thing gets hot, right? The little heated resistor gets, gets hot, and then we dissipate that heat by <laughs> airflow moving across it. Questions on that part? Current flow is what is changing, so an increase in current flow would be an increase in the signal. Computer sees that increase in signal and does what? What's computer doing with a higher signal on the mass airflow? What is it adding more of? Fuel, okay? Huge factor, huge player in our fuel system. So unique with this, hot wire design, dirt, dust, pollen, PCV gases, contaminate that hot wire, causing incorrect MAF signals. So I'm gonna leave you with this, just a picture of that. Just a picture of contaminants. Contaminants on the hot wire are gonna do what? So I'm not sure which one's the hot wire or cold wire. Let's call this one. I think the one in the front's the hot wire. Um, remember that airflow moving across that is going to dissipate heat. And as the heat dissipates, the module in the mass airflow sensor is going to send an increasing current flow to, through that hot wire to maintain that temperature. And that increase in current is going to be converted to a signal. Computer reads that as airflow entering the engine. What happens when we put contaminants around it? What happens when we have, um, I'll stay with yellow, what happens with all this dust and dirt and pollen and PCV gases and what does it act as, Wes? Yeah, it stays warmer. It's like you going outside with a coat on in the wintertime. You're trapping heat next to your body. So when we move that same airflow across this, it's not going to have the same cooling effect. Does everyone understand that? And with airflow moving across without the same cooling effect, I'm going to have less current flow traveling through here. So I have more airflow here and less current flow here. The result of that is a miscalculated airflow coming into the engine. Without that airflow being seen, what does the computer not give us? Fuel. How does the car run with a contaminated mass airflow? Lean. In general, there's a, rich there's a rich variable. I know, it's an idle one, and I've seen it a few times, multiple times, but here's the general rule we can follow. Lean conditions, higher RPM, lean conditions. You will have, with contaminated mass airflows, you will have P0171 and P0174 fault codes, which are our lean exhaust fault codes.